guys welcome back once again in this video we will look at how we can create a c-sharp peer-to-peer chat application using visual studio 2022 and the help of github copilot but obviously before we get started please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't so github copilot utilizes chat gpt to help you with your coding and obviously visual studio is a is a very advanced ide which is a code editor to help you with your coding yeah enough of all of that so as you can see i've got visual studio opened if you don't have it please make sure you go to the official website download and install it also make sure you you have github copilot um, components or uh, workload installed as well so once you've got all of this bit sorted out, yeah, let's go ahead and, and get started. So we can we get started by creating a new project. So here, as, as you can see, I've selected the C sharp language. So we're going to use a C sharp console app for this video. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on next. So here you can configure the project details. So what we're going to do first is going to we're going to have about three projects. Yeah, we will have um, a discovery server. So this is where the um, the clients yeah can connect to and request the availability of other clients. Okay, so that they can they can connect directly to the clients. Okay, so we're going to name this p2p chat dot server so the, the solution will just be p2p chat yeah so let's go ahead and click on the next actually p2p chat app let's let's just call it p2p chat app yeah and then let's go ahead and click next and then create so as we can see here now we've got our first project created for us which is a p2p chat.server so that will be our discovery server so let's go ahead and add two more projects yeah so let's go uh, add new project. Uh, select the console app, and let's call this uh, P2P chat dot client one. So this will be a client one, a simulated client. So let's go ahead and add one more new projects. Select the console app and then um, P2P chat dot um, client two. So let's go ahead and create it. So as you can see here now, we've got three projects. Yeah, one as the discovery server and then two as the both clients. Yeah. So I on the on the on the right side here, as you can see, I've got GitHub Copilot chat. Yeah. So this is where we're going to generate our code. Yeah. So this is the, the this is the command that we're going to use. Yeah. So as we can see here now, we've got chat GPT four, but you can also use the L three menu, which we will use for the same project and see what kind of results we get for that as well. Okay. So let's go ahead and type this command here. So let's go create. A P2P chat app using so let's select our first bit, our first bit, which is the, the, the discovery server. So P2P chat server as the discovery discovery server. And uh, client one and client 
two as both clients. So basically, we have a uh, we have a discovery server, and then we've got two two peers or two clients. Huh? So let's go ahead and enter. So as we can see here, uh, is uh, the, the 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 prompt is not very difficult, all right? So it it would take a while. So as you can see, chat, uh, GitHub Copilot is thinking, and look, let's have a look at what has been generated for us. So to create a chat application using P2P chat, uh, P2P chat or server as the discovery server, and then uh, client one and two as as clients. This is the steps that we're going to follow. So basically, the discovery server implements a server that maintains a list of connected clients and facilitates the exchange of connection information between clients. And the clients implement clients that register with the server, retrieve peer information, and establish direct communication with each other. And the communication protocol, we use the TCP for communication between the server and the clients and between the clients themselves. So here, this is the code for the discovery server. So the server will listen to clients' connections, store their information, provide it to other clients upon request. So let's go ahead and, 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 and add it. So we can do so, we can do that. Wait, hold on a minute. So this is the call for the client. Okay, so let's scroll down once again for the discovery server code. Yeah, so this is our discovery server code. So let's let's get let's grab our program.cs from the discovery server. Let's remove what we've got here and then click on the preview. So let's accept it. So this is what we've got here for now. So basically, this is our discovery server code here. We'll come back to it and have a look at what what it, what it does. But the next bit is let's go straight up into the client implementation. So the client will register with the server, retrieve the list of peers, and establish direct communication. So basically, this is this is this is um, a P2P app that actually works on a, on a local uh, on a no, local network. So let's remove this bit here. And then click on the preview and let's add it. So as you can see here now, we are, we've got a, a bit to resolve. So let's select, let's resolve it. So this is a system.net.sockets. So let's resolve the IP address as well, system.net. So let's scroll down and look at the other arrows. So system.test. So as you can see here now, we've got all the errors dis um, disappeared. So let's go straight to the client two. Uh, let's add the same thing here. So as you can see here now, we've got the whole thing resolved. So let's look at how it works here. Let's look at what, how, what happened. So we've got first, we've got the discovery server. It listens on port 5000, accept client registration and maintain a list of the connected clients. Send a list of connected clients to each client, each new client, okay? And then the clients register with the server by sending their IP and port. Retrieve the list of peers from the server. Establish direct communication with the uh, with the peers using TCP and the communication. So client listen for incoming messages on their local ports. Clients can send messages directly to their peers using the using their IP and port. Okay. So the next bit is let's go ahead and select here and then configure startup projects. So here we're going to configure for multiple projects start multiple startup projects. Yeah. So the server should be first. And, and then both clients as well, okay? So let's click on apply, yes, and then okay.
So here we can now. So let's go ahead and run it to see what actually comes out of it. So let's let's go ahead and click on the start. So here we are actually prompted by the Windows firewall to allow the application to communicate on the private network. So let's allow the access to it here. Yeah? So we've allowed the network access for um, all the free projects. So let's have a look at it. So this is uh, the service, uh, the server. <laughs> Obviously now we have uh, all the clients closed that we come back to again so as you can see here on the discovery server so we've got um two clients that were registered so both with their different ports yeah but obviously since i'm running on the same on the same machine they have they all have the same um ip address so let's let's close it and then reopen it and i mean rerun it again So this is a client too. So as you can see here now, we, we're getting an error. Let's have a look at it. So it's just, uh, so no connection could be made because the target machine actively refused it. So basically, we have uh, we've got one one um one client that has been cl closed. So what we can do. Yeah, to resolve it, yeah, is we have to go back to the chat GPT, I mean, uh, GitHub Copilot, and then implement the heartbeat. So basically, once the the first client registers and and gets no um no peers, yeah, it will wait for I mean a couple of seconds or a minute and then request again. So in this case, yeah, until that that um there are more um clients established on um, more client connections established, yeah. So you can also you can you can you can uh, you can write you can you can prompt it here to also implement the heartbeat, but we're not going to look too much into that because I want to leave this in, I want to leave it here for you so that you can go you, you can look into that yourself further. Okay, but once again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do, because I've got lots of videos coming up. And on the next video, we have a look at oh, you do the same thing, but not with the GPT-4, but we're going to use the out mini to see if we'll get any different result. okay? So once again, have a lovely day, morning, afternoon, wherever you are. Peace.